Okay, for 51, if measure of angle B is congruent to the measure of angle D, which of course they are in a parallelogram, and this is 46, and this is 46, well, it's going to be a parallelogram. These consecutive angles supplementary. So in a parallelogram, you would then say, okay, well, that means that that side is parallel to that side, and therefore this angle and this angle are supplementary. So, and it works all the way around since you've also got these parallel to that, like that parallel to that. So what we have to do then is figure out what is 180 minus 46 and you get 134 degrees. You're going to want to write stuff down and calculate it out. Don't be, don't be sloppy and try and do it in your head when, especially on a test, you really need to verify your answers. And I know you can use a calculator too. So, Okay, based on the information in the diagram, can you prove that the figure is a parallelogram? Yes, you can. Well, I'm not really quoting the theorems page so much and naming the number of the, the theorem number. Um, in this case, it's theorem 6-10. If both pairs of opposite angles of a quadrilateral are congruent, then the quadrilateral is a parallelogram. Since that's what they're telling us, then you can say, yes. Let me see if you type it out. Um, oops. Sorry, I'm trying to type here. Yes. If both pairs of opposite angles are congruent. The quadrilateral is a parallelogram.